I think often it's uncomfortable because it has been made programmatic and we have ten steps or four spiritual laws or some kind of program to fulfill. And I think it's also become awkward because there is, in the American way of marketing and business, a felt need for closure in any process. And I think this is the result of the fact that the world is the salt and the light of the church. Now, that may remind you of something Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount. He said, you are the light of the world, you are the salt of the earth. And that's what he said, and that's what he meant. But actually what happens a great deal is that the world is the salt and the light of the church. And so business and sales techniques have come into the church, not by the Holy Spirit, not through the Scripture, but through the spirit of the age, the spirit of our world. And people are under a tremendous burden to close the sale. And they feel inadequate, and they should feel inadequate, because only the Holy Spirit can close the sale. And they feel pressured by time. Or they feel the gross dishonesty of just saying to someone, Jesus Christ is Lord, and you need him in your life, and give your heart to Jesus. Goodbye. They feel the gross dishonesty of that, and they don't want to be dishonest, but they feel the pressure to put not just in their Bible, I shared my faith with 18 people today, and they feel bad about that because they know it's dishonest and dehumanizing. And so people often feel very bad about evangelizing, which is very sad because people should feel joyful about evangelizing and apologetics. People should be glad to meet people and get to know them and love them and care about them and make them feel respected and wanted and uh, admired and enjoyed. This should be part of the evangelistic process and not just selling something or uh, finishing an exercise with a sales technique. And I think that's some of the reasons why people feel 